guys. So, well, today is the start of my back-to-back, -back, uh, first back-to-back -back weekend of this training block. And we're just doing a back-to-back -back 10. So, nothing too crazy, but I'm out here on the trail pretty early this morning. The sun doesn't come up until about, uh, out here but like I said we're just doing a back-to-back -back this weekend two 10 milers get the body uh, used to uh, some pain so coming off of uh, a small injury about two months ago so, but this is our fourth week training walk and feeling good and building that base so I saw that pop in. Just beautiful out here right now though. Snow's coming down a little bit. Dead silent. And obviously we can we can hear the lake way off in the distance. Here we are right outside the lake here. Massive ice shelf starting to be visible here. Probably from that really cold negative degree weather day that we had. Wow, what a beautiful sight out here. A little bit of flurries coming down. Huge ice shelf. I would not recommend standing on that at all. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll get back into the woods because it's, uh, it's kind of windy. Just about at the turn around here, just five miles in. Listening to a podcast with Nick Bear and Zach Bitter. Uh, Zach Bitter is actually an ultra runner from Wisconsin, if you didn't know. But uh, we're going to enjoy the rest of this run and enjoy the podcast and get back to it. Running in the Solomon Sense Ride 2s. Yes, I said that, 2s pretty old model uh, definitely still well liked I love this little section though this is a two mile section that runs through here two roads intersect in between but they link up with more trails uh, just north of here at the school forest so the Matchwalk Public School District I think it's other districts too uh, come out here to the school forest and do some like outdoor education I did it throughout my uh, grade school years. It was a great experience. A lot of memories out there. And running those trails kind of just uh, bring back some of those memories as a kid playing in the woods. And actually, yeah, I did a summer camp out there. I actually had a summer camp out there one summer called the Free the Horses Camp. And it was put on for for kids who kind of struggled and maybe didn't have self-confidence spent uh, uh i think it was four or five days out there uh with the group and you know learned a lot about myself as a kid thinking about those memories now but Guys, we're about nine and a half miles in here. Really coming down now. And it looks beautiful out here though. Just a little bit of a road section. Let me get back on the trail here. But opted to do 12 miles today and then save the eight for the back to back. And uh just what the body wanted, so. 
Yeah, absolutely beautiful out right now. You want to take some time here, guys, to kind of talk and say, you know, trying to accomplish a hundred miler isn't going to be easy. I don't think it's easy for anyone to really do. It's a lot of effort. Um, out on the trail, it's going to be a long day. So, but Shawnee Hills 100, 30, I think it's 31 hour time limit, could be 32 to complete the 100 miles. You know, I looked at the weather yesterday and it didn't even say it was supposed to snow. But hey, that's uh, Wisconsin for us, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how many times they've predicted no snow or a little bit of snow and then it doesn't snow or it does. Yeah, we're out here on the Ice Age Trail. We're in Point Beach State Forest right now. I frequent this area a lot. I live about 20 minutes away from the state forest, so definitely come out here a lot and get these trails. The only real downside of, you know, living in Wisconsin here, at least training for elevation, it's kind of difficult. So I've been doing a lot of treadmill work and yeah, there are some trails out here that you can get some good elevation in, but they're about 45 minutes away from me. So just trying to work with what we got here and uh, just really enjoy the training. I mean, that's kind of what it's about here. 